Hi, I'm Joe James, and today I'm going to give you a quick introduction to linked lists, and then I'll show you how to code up a linked list in Python. Now, every node has two parts, data and a pointer to the next node. Now, the data can be very complex, or in our case, we're just going to use a simple integer for our data. Linked list is a whole collection of nodes, so the next pointer will always point to the next node in the list. So here's a simple linked list with just three nodes. You can see that each node has a data element and a pointer to the next node. The very first node is called the root node, and we'll always keep a pointer to the root node as a variable in the linked list. So we can access the first node in the list. And you can also see that the very last node in the list doesn't really have a next pointer because there is no next node. So the next pointer will be null, or in Python it will be none. So some of the operations we want to do on our linked list, get size, find data, add data, and remove data. Get size is really simple. We're going to keep a variable in our linked list that tracks the size of the list, so we'll simply return the size variable. Find data. What we're going to have to do is start at the root. We'll compare the value that we're searching for, let's say we're trying to find 17, to the data in the first node. They're not equal, so we'll go to the next node. We found our 17, so we'll return 17. Or if we're looking for a value that's not in the list, we'll continue searching until we get to the end of the list, and then we'll return null or false. So let's say we want to add 10 to our list. First we'll create a new node. We'll put 10 in the data block, and we'll change our next pointer so that it points to the root node. And then we'll change our root pointer so that it points to our 10 node, our new node. That's it. Our add operation is finished. It's that simple. Remove. First we have to find. So if we want to remove a 5, let's say, first we have to find the 5. So we'll start at the root, we'll compare 10 to 5, they're not equal, we'll go to the next. Oh look, we found our 5 node. So to remove the 5 node, we simply change the next pointer in our previous node to 5's next. Now the 5 node is basically deleted. It's still there, but it's excluded from our linked list. Now let's write our own linked list code in Python. We'll start by writing a node class, because that's really the building block for a linked list. First we need a constructor. So our constructor will take two arguments, a piece of data, d, and a next node, n. So the next node, n, will default to none, and that's really all there is to a node object. Now we just need getters and setter functions for the data and the next node. And that's all there is to our node object. Next we're going to have to write the linked list class. So every linked list needs to have two instance variables, a root, because we need a pointer to find the root node, and the size. So let's write our constructor. We'll basically just set up variables for the root and the size. The size will be initially zero, and the root will be none. We'll have a simple get function for the size, so it just returns the size. Now we'll define our add function. The add function is going to take a piece of data, d. It's going to create a new node using that piece of data, and it's going to use as a pointer to the next node. It's going to take the root node's pointer. And then we'll change the root node's pointer to the new node. And we'll increment our size by 1. And that's it for our add function. Next, we'll write our remove function. So the remove function, we're going to have to first do a find. And we're going to have to keep track of two nodes. So we're going to track the current node that we're looking at, this node, which is going to start at the root. And then we also want to track the previous node, because we're going to have to change the pointer of the previous node. We'll use a while loop to iterate through the list. So we'll iterate through the list, and if we find the node we're looking for, and if we're not in the root node, then we just need to set the previous node's next node pointer to this node's next node pointer. And if we are in the root node, then there is no previous node. So we'll change the root to this node. We'll increment our size by 1, and we'll return true to indicate that we successfully removed the data. And if we didn't find the data in the current node, then we just need to advance our pointers for the previous node to the next node, and this node to the, to the next node. And if we manage to exit out of our while loop without successfully finding the data we're looking for, then we need to return Turn false to indicate that we did not find the data, so we were unable to delete it. So in a remove operation, we should always either return true that we did successfully remove it, or false that we didn't successfully remove it. Otherwise, the calling function would, would never know if we actually deleted or didn't delete the item, if it was actually found or not. And lastly, we'll write our find function. 
So the find function is going to start at the root node, and while there's still another node, it's going to look at each node to compare the data against the data we're looking for. And when it finds it, it will return the data. And if it doesn't find it, it will advance the next node. And if it exits the loop without finding the data, then it will return none. Now to use our list, we can instantiate a new list by saying my list is equal to linked list. We'll do a few operations with our linked list. We'll add a 5, we'll add an 8, we'll add a 12 to our new list. Then we'll remove an 8. We'll try and remove a 12 and try and print the result there. And we'll print the list when we try and find a 5. And you can see when we run that, we get true for the removal of the 12. It successfully removed the 12. And it found the 5, so it returns the 5. So that's how our linked list works. That wraps up our video on linked lists. If you like this video, make sure you click our subscribe button and the like button. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.